Hey guys, how's it going today? We are taking a look at a 2019 Speed Triple S. We'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the channel here, and if you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I know I always forget when I'm watching the videos, I always do, I'm watching and I forget to hit the like button, even if the video's awesome or something I, you know, want to help the creator, I tend to forget, so I figured I would put this at the beginning of my videos here. And yeah, if you like these videos, let's grow the channel together. So thank you for joining me today again. We are taking a look at a 2019. This is the newest motorcycle I've owned. Believe it or not. This is a Triumph Speed Triple S1050 right there. We'll do a quick walk around an exhaust note of the SC Project exhaust, which I think sounds great. We'll start at the front here. We'll make our way to the back. All right, you get 1050 badging up there. This is, I don't know if you can see it in this light because the sun's kind of going down a little bit now, but this is a, this is the crystal white, which has like metal flake or like pearl, is like pearlized. Very, very interesting looking. I enjoy it. Okay, so we've got our dual front Brembo disc brakes on here. These are excellent ABS brakes. And you got your fully adjustable show off front suspension there's one of the adjustment points right there you got brembles on this side this currently has uh, let's take a look at the tires we have on here i forget off the top of my head i think they are yeah they're metzlers there's road tech yeah that's the road techs right there in great shape the front's in great shape the back's getting a little squared off i could probably replace that next season these these uh brakes are incredible i'll tell you that the abs on this and everything is just just the right amount of um, what would you call it? Just the right amount of interference when you start grabbing too hard. You got the newer front lights, the old school round lights. I had my other Speed Triple, or the old school version. This is the new Bubble Eye lights, right? Got the little tiny cowl. You can buy uh, extended cowls for this if you so desire. And then up here, you've got the uh, Triumph Baron mirrors. I believe these come stock with Barons, as far as I know, on both sides here. And you've got adjustable clutch. And the front Brembo brake bar, I'm sorry, lever, is not adjustable. Which is a little odd, but that's okay. Because it's to the right, it is just about perfect for me. I adjusted this down like Dave Moss tuning talks about. So I adjusted it so that my arm is in line with the lever. So I don't have to like go like this and like try to grab and pull back. You just put your fingers out, boom, and you're right there. So the bar's got to come down far enough where you can do that. Awesome tip from him. While we're up here, let's take a look at the TFT display, which is really cool. This has got a little great thousand miles on it. And here we are. And we've got a full tank of gas, 46.5 miles per gallon. Uh, it's like the average I've been getting, it says. And then there's my, my range. It's even got a mile range. How do you like that? Pretty interesting. You can go through, you get all these different options. Check this out. You got different styles here. You might have seen this already, but... Here's style one of the display. You got the big speedometer with the uh, RPMs on the right side. Style two is smaller speedo with a uh, the the tack up the middle there. And then style three is slightly different, more of a rounded design. And then you got your gear indicator right up there. And you can't really probably see this a whole lot right now, but all of the the buttons here, everything is backlit, like around them. Everything's backlit for you, so you can, you can see what's going on at night when you go to grab stuff. And, like, the the wording is backlit as well. Which is a very nice feature, which you appreciate once you have, which I don't think I've had before. So, yeah, you can go in through here, and you can change your different uh, riding modes and such. This is the different styles we were just looking at. Here's your coolant level, because I had it on. You can go through here, look at how many miles are in trip one. I believe that's the current oil change. A lot of people do trip two. I just reset, because I just got a, a uh, tank of gas. 
and you can go through your modes right here. There's your different modes. I'm in sport mode right now. You've also got, oops, I'm messing up here and pressing the turn signals. You got road mode, you got rain mode, and then rider mode, which I have traction control turned off for if you want to go see TC system disabled. So if you want to go and get that wheelie action, you can do it on there. I don't do much wheeling, but I've got it in case I ever want to do that. All right, let's move back here. I'll take a peek at the tail light. There's your tail light right there. It's a LED look to it. Let me turn this off for now. We'll come back around this side here quick. Take a look at the, the triple here. You can't really see a whole lot. It's covered by that little fairing there, but you got your little fairing. You got your, this has EvoTech uh, radiator guard and oil cooler guard on it. Real clean. And by clean, I mean there's, there's still some bugs there, but like it looks clean because it's covered. And it also helps protect from rocks and such, which is great. You got stock um, pegs and down here, but as you can probably see, of course, because it's 2019, you have the smoothest quick shifter I've ever experienced in my life. Man, auto blipper down, and it, it like, no matter, it works no matter what. No matter what you're doing with the throttle, this thing just works. Super incredible smooth. We'll talk about that in the ride review, which will be coming out after this video, I believe. We will see. Come back here, you got your SC Project exhaust, which we are going to go ahead and listen to right now. I believe I am in neutral. Take a peek, yes you are. With the speed triple, I believe you have to have the, the uh, clutch in no matter what to start it. Yep, it has a safety, so I'm gonna have to try to do this with. There we go. Come over here on this side. Give her a little listen. I think personally, I like it. Come back around here and stop it. Turn her off for now, because we got a little bit more to talk about down in the back back here. All right, we've got our chain, and it even has a little tow guard right there, right, for the chain. Pretty cool. Some bikes don't have that. It's a metal one as well. And you've got single disc brembles in the back, and it has matching... Uh, Road tech, that's the road techs in the rear. You can see that the rear is getting a little bit round squared off, but it's not too bad. It isn't bad. Ride's good. I like it. I'll maybe I'll throw a different set of tires on next season, depending on how many miles I put down. Uh, let's see what happened on this particular model. So in this particular model, when the SC Project exhaust was put on, they were aimed in too much from the previous owner told me, and it did cause a little bit of uh, burning to the end of the turn signal here. So he went in and bent them out so that the, the the hot air is missing it. It looks like it could maybe even come out a little more, but he said this is just, I don't think it's been getting any worse from what I can tell. And the other side is perfectly fine. It's pretty good over here, it looks fine. You can see how this exhaust is pointed out there and see how this one is still in a bit closer. So that, that's what happened there. Uh, let's see what else we got to talk about here. I'm not gonna get in depth too much in this video this is kind of just a walk around taking a look at it i will say this bike is incredibly clean the previous owner like just kept this bike super clean and um i just i just uh waxed this with mcguire's shine so i think i'm gonna do a separate video about that the lighting isn't like real great tonight for this so i'll wait till a different day but i did a couple of a couple of coats of i'm sorry i misspoke it's um wizard's wizard shine master not Maguire. This is Wizard Shine Master that I used on this. And yeah, the Wizard Shine Master is really came out good. This is just two coats on here. And we'll do another video where the lighting's a little better. And it's in, it's incredible with this metal flake like pearlescent paint. It is absolutely incredible. But if you have any questions about this bike, just uh just let me know in the comments and I will answer any questions that you have. I think that we're gonna be doing a full set. I just got a full set of RNG um crash protection so we're going to be doing the frame sliders the front uh, fork protectors right there and then the spindle 
uh, what you call it, they're like spindle, the spindles that, you know, you can lift the bike up on back here, but it also doubles as axle protection like we have over there on the Ducati, which you just did a video of, which is going to be out significantly before this, but yeah. So, oh, it looks there that, looks like there the bike was probably sitting for a bit right there. And we got a little rust action going on right there where it was sitting on the brake pad, which we will have to burn off with a little braking and get that cleaned up. But that should clean up. And yeah, I think I think we are good to go on this video. So I thank you, thank you guys for watching again. And I'm enjoying this bike. This is probably the best motorcycle I've owned. Personally, as far as smoothness and um, just the... I don't know, total safety of it, I think. I think that the traction, the traction control and the ABS on this is just absolutely incredible. You can defeat either if you want, but I, I, personally, I personally enjoy it a lot. I think that, um, I think that I'm going to be keeping this bike for quite a while. Definitely, definitely until next season, and I'll probably be running it next season quite a bit too because I ride it quite a bit in the evening at night here. It's really, um, the headlights and stuff are excellent at night, and the traction control is really good at night as well. So yeah, I really, I really enjoy the bike. So we will be doing a lot more content with the Speed Triple, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe as always, and we are working on doing a video every Monday for you with whatever kind of content I can find about motorcycles and different bikes and ride reviews and things like that. So thanks for watching again, and we will see you guys next Moto Monday.